Welcome, welcome back, everybody. To Radioactive Pokemans. And as I said, off camera, I'd be grinding. And boy, oh howdy, did I grind. No, now, to put things in perspective of just how much I grinded, at the next level, level, Soldier will evolve. At the next level, Alaron will evolve. At the next level, Flex will evolve. At the next level, Antony will gain a generate and then evolve. The next Demi Devi is already evolved because I miscalculated on the level, so I had to cancel that. So the next time Demi Devi levels, he will evolve. The only one who will not evolve immediately upon the next level up is Spanky, who has to get up to level 27. So yes, I did some grinding. Considering that previously all my Pokemon were like in the 14s or lower, I did some grinding. Gentlemen, Sir Senior Goldcorn would like to battle. I sent out Ekans. Go Spanky! Spanky, use Seismic Toss! It's not very effective. Spanky, use Seismic Toss! Do I like to switch Pokemon? Yeah, sure! Let's switch Pokemon. Because I should be able to get one of them to evolve. I have to remember. I think it's Alaron? I think Alaron's really good. So yeah, if I remember correctly, what is it? Rock Smash, I think? Alaron got 186 experience, grew to level 15. Ah, you ruined my walking. 100, 1,050 for winning. What? Alaron is evolving? Congratulations! Alaron evolved into Daryl. I do say that was a jolly good shoe. Why, you simply must call me on the telephone so that we can do battle once again. Uh, sure. I'm impressed by this roach beauty. And the, uh, the audio still seems a bit loud. Let's go to options. That seems good. I kind of like that one better. Let's do a quick save just to make sure we've got that. I've been fishing all around Tandor, but this year bridge is the best darn fishing spot in the region. Felarog. Um, sure, I'll hit him with uh, seismic toss. Let's switch over to somebody else. Soldier. Switch in. Soldier. 
Use air cutter. Soldier, use incinerate. Soldier, use air cutter again. Spanky is trying to learn Screech, but can't, Spanky can't learn more than four moves. Let's see what we've got as an option for Screech. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Well, shucks. 720. Oops, sorry about being too like that. I'm gonna hurry to the Pokemon Center, because some Pokemon attacked me and my team in the Comet Cave. If you want to pass through it, it's better to find someone to go with you because Pokemon there attacking mobs. Well, good luck. Now excuse me. Okay. I'm training to be a comedian. Here's a good bridge joke for you. What do you call a really short bridge? A bridge. Psychic Laramie would like to battle. I sent out... <laughs> That's a horrifying monstrosity of nature. Seismic Toss! Switch Pokemon. Soldier. Switch in. Soldier, use Air Cutter. Well, that's horrifying. I'm not going to risk losing Soldier. Lex. Switch in. Use Aqua Jet. Sure, let's switch Pokemon. If I can get some XP on Antony before switching out, that'd be good. Antony, use Ember. <laughs> that Pokemon is horrifying monstrosity of nature. Leech Life? Probably shouldn't keep using Antony. Let's try Demi Devi. Against this horrible monstrosity of nature. Demi Devi, use Lick. It's super effective. Nice. And Braylon was <laughs> paralyzed. Ugh. Double super effective moves. Ugh. I shouldn't use Demi Devi because he's gonna get his he's gonna die. Um Spanky the Mankey. It's up to you. He's just using confusion on everybody. Dear God. And it's super effective on everybody. Seismic Toss! Seriously? You have like one HP left. Good thing I did all this grind. You can imagine these guys were like six levels lower. Was that a... Joke a bridge too far. Yeah, your joke was a bridge too far. Ooh, I found a Thunderstone. It's always good to do some training in the morning. Well, it's time to test if I was useful. Ah, Black Belt William would like to battle. Has sent out Bashan? Sean! Well, Boshon... Press X to start. 
How about uh, pr how about press enter to seismic toss? Each seismic toss, please. Before Mankey dies. Mankey gained 186 EXP. Would like to send in Mankey. Uh, would I like to switch Pokemon? Yes, I think I know a Pokemon that's good against Mankey. Alaron. Alaron, use Rock Smash. And Alaron's dead. Fine, Lex, it's up to you. Still getting my ass kicked after all the grinding. Lex, use Aqua Jet. Lex, use wake up and use Aqua Jet, damn it. Lex, wake up and use Aqua Jet. Thank you, Lex. And one job the Mankey. Ah, the training isn't working. So what's this say here? Barrel Forest Comet Cave is that way. So if I go down the stairs, I'll go to the Comet Cave. Good to know. Ooh, I found a Dusk Ball. I should go and heal my Pokemans. And Wild Battle. Hey look, it's an Ekans! Use seismic talks. Oh look, he only used Leer. That's gonna do you a lot of good against seismic toss. Oh, just about to get out of the tall grass. And another Ekans! Use Seismic Toss again! And he's using Leer again. You know, I don't mind if you keep using status affecting things, because I'll just kick your ass with Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss is best toss. Alright. Out of this danger zone, but I have to head back to town to heal up. At least we took care of a few trainers, right? So, those big fights are out of the way, but dear god, that Brailiff is gonna give me nightmares. Giant fish with Donna Marge's brain just taking up a third of its body mass. Brailiff is a horrifying monstrosity of nature. Oh, wait, I already went down there. Run, Xanda. Run! Ew. Hey, look. It's Sonic Chew. Use Seismic Toss. Use Seismic Toss again! Couple more battles and Spanky the Mankey should level up. Or evolve, sorry. The Pokemon are especially hostile in the cave. They're gaining anchor trainer. For your safety, I won't allow you to pass. Is that a bright gem badge? Huh. You must be a strong trainer. However, I still don't think you should. I should let you go alone. Hey, why can't I get into this cave? I'm not afraid of any Pokemon Theo, says this. Wait, 
I know. Me and Xander can tackle the cave together. Isn't that right, Xander? Well, um, uh, I, uh, uh, I guess it's the guard. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess so, but be careful. But I... Okay, here we are. I'll follow you to the end till we split up. I'll do my best to keep our Pokemon healed. Theo joined you. Well, this should be interesting. What does he mean by he healed me? Well, everyone's at full health. I'm not seeing any status effects. We'll see how that works through the cave, shall we? Ooh, autonomy and a comite. Rival Theodore sent out Raptorch. Go Spanky. Alright. I'll use Seismic Toss. On the autonomy, sure. Double battles, I'm kind of new to them in this game. And Raptor is poisoned. Nice work there, Raptor. Seismic Toss again. Ember against the Comite. Ooh, not very effective, but the Comite is burned. Now, the question is... Pokeballs in a double battle. Will Theo let me capture this Pokemon? Use a Pokeball! Three. Caught it! Comite was caught. Comite said it was out of the Pokedex. Comite, the meteorite Pokemon. Rock type. Well, we should give it a nickname. I'm giving a nickname to everything. So, how about... <laughs> no, no, no. That wouldn't work. Uh, what was the name of the villain in Dino Charge? The one who literally came in on a meteor. The candle guy. Let me see here. Um, Dino charge villains. I've gotten uh, synergy working again, so now I can actually just scroll, take my mouse and scroll it right over to my laptop over here. Uh, let's see. Reoccurring characters, villains, story, wrench. Singe, that's what it was. It was Singe. S I N G E. Singe was transferred to Twitch's PC. Now. Ah, okay, Theo. You're keeping our Pokemon healthy. So we can grind for as much as we want in the cave because after every battle, I'm fully healed. Okay. I can work with that, Theo. Oh, well, look, a Dunsperce and a Philrog. Well, let's use... And yeah, even my PP is fully recovered. And Spanky's leveled up to 22. Nice. And Seismic Toss on the Fularog.
Let's just use low kick, because I want to get him low enough that I can capture him. And I killed him. Ah, well. Ooh, twin tonomies. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch out Spanky, because this is a great way for me to get everyone leveled up enough to evolve. So I'll bring Soldier in. Since I've got free healing after every fight. And we're both poisons, of course. Two poisons and a burn effect are going on. There's a lot of between battle, like, status effects going to happen. Flame burst. And flame burst just wrecked these, these guys. Let me actually change around my Pokemon, because we know Spanky's going to take a while. Let's switch in Soldier so he gets, so he starts off the fight. Ooh, found one Poison Barb. And, of course, I can't surf, so I can't get over to that item. Both Pokemon that I've fought before, so I can easily have no issue with just tanking through them. Let's go with... Uh, Ear Cutter. Apparently, Ear Cutter hits all enemies. Interesting. So I just didn't have to select one for Ear Cutter. So I'll use Ear Cutter, since it hits apparently everybody. Standing on, there's only one enemy left. Use incinerate. I have to admit, Theo's doing a nice job. Despite the fact that he's set up as our rival, he's being a really good partner. And there we go. Soldier hit level 19. Which means... What? Soldier is evolving! Congratulations, your Solver evolved into Pileja, who looks really awesome, by the way. Uh, let me switch out someone else, because we've already got two of my six have evolved. So let's switch Soldier out for Antony. And I'm going to quickly save, just in case. Because we should be able, with the next level, get Incinerate. And in addition to Incinerate, I will, should be able to evolve Antony. Let's go... Poison Sting. Ugh. Bulldoze. I hate bulldoze. It is such... Well, when it's used against me, obviously. I love it when I'm using it against the enemy, naturally. That bulldoze is brutal. It's almost Chroma Squad brutal. Alright, fine. If Poison Sting isn't very excessive, double embers, I guess.
I am glad that I've got a partner for going through this cave, because that means I can do as much exploring as I want. Anthony just avoided poison gas while Raptorch got it. <laughs> ah, apparently Anthony's got very high agility. And I'm going to use it because there's burn autonomy, so autonomy should actually be taken out by the burn. And now all the poison and burn effects have to proc. Because, dear God. We have to end the fight now, because Antony is about to die from poison. Thank you, Theo. Because I think this should be enough to... Yep, Antony is leveled to 16. Antony's trying to learn incinerate. Can't learn the more four moves. Do you want to delete a move to make room for incinerate? Oh, most definitely. I'm going to get rid of String Shot. To get incinerate. One, two, three, and poof. Antony forgot string shot, and Antony learned incinerate. What's this? Antony is evolving. I told you it, it, it evolved as soon as I as learned it. Yep, and, you, and it learns it at level 16, which actually means that it's probably one of the earliest evolvers. Your Antony evolved into Fire Oki. Well, it is bug type. That is true. And if I recall correctly, it has the swarm effect. Let me check. Swarm. Got a serious nature. Uh, something else I guess had swarm. No, this one is a sniper. All right, so let's switch him with. Demi Devi, because Demi Devi should evolve at the next level. So we just need to get Demi Devi to level up. And how soon will that be? Needs about a thousand EXP to level up, so that'll be a while. What about Lex? Lex needs 900. Okay, so both of them need a bit of experience points to level up. That's fine, though. Because I have some heavy heaters I can switch into if I need to. Plus, I get a free heal and free status effect curing. And full, basically, it's a Poké Center after every battle. That is what Theo is doing for my team. A Poké Center after every battle. Which means I can pretty much grind in this cave for as long as I want. In fact, maybe I should have grinded in the cave. Since it's a Poké... <laughs> since it's a... a uh, uh, yeah... For those of you who are playing Pokemon Uranium in the future, wait until you get to this cave and then do all your grinding, because it's a free gym after every single battle. I don't know if that'll revive fainted Pokemon, but I'm kind of trying to avoid that. But so far, it's doing everything else that a gym does, so it wouldn't surprise me if it revived fainted Pokemon. I'm getting about roughly 300 XP per fight, so it shouldn't take too long to get to a thousand. 
That's what? Three, four fights? Oh, wonderful. Confuse. And great. Four togs now paralyzed. Perfect. As long as we can't, if, as long as we don't one-shot him with an attack, I should be able to get him low enough that I can capture him. Another Pokemon to my Pokedex. I guess tackle makes sense. Because he, he's immune to poison himself. I think we're about as good as we're going to get. Pokeball, go. One, two, three. Bingo. Four Togs data was added to the Pokemon. It is a round toed Pokemon that's water and poison. This Pokemon is rarely seen because walking because of its weight. Rather, it rolls to get anywhere. They are often found in the bottom of ponds. Do I have to give a nickname to Fortog? Uh, what would be good? For basically a fat frog Pokemon. Oh, I know the perfect name. A fat frog Pokemon. It's me! Mario! Because, <laughs> you know, the frog suit. But is it fem But is it male? No, it's female. <laughs> I don't care about genders when I'm giving them their names. Use Lick on Grozard. I really wish these uh, names were spaced out better so I can actually see my frickin' EXP bar. Tonomy tried to use poison on another Tonomy, which is immune to poison. Yeah, it probably wasn't the bravest, greatest, greatest move to make. Found a full heal. Couple of comites now. Let's hit the Comites with Smog. Yeah, Theo is doing an amazing job. Despite him being your rival, he is doing an amazing job of 
literally full healing us after every battle. Hmm. Like, literally, all status effects are gone. Health is completely recovered. PP is fully recovered. Wow. The only thing I don't know what will, what happens after every battle is if it will revive fainted Pokemon. Because I don't let my Pokemon faint or try to avoid it. So one of his own Pokemon may un end up fainting, so we'll see what happens if Raptorch is back in the next fight. And I found an HP up. Deeper into the cave we go, I guess. Found a great ball. This should be the last fight that I need for my for Demi Debbie to evolve. I'll try poison gas, which I think hits everybody. Yep, poison gas is an AoE. Okay. Apparently, poison gas is such an AoE, it'll even affect your allies. Good to know! Don't use poison gas in a team battle. Sorry, Theo. I didn't think that the gas I was expelling out in front of me would be able to hit someone who was standing behind me. There goes Grozard. Is that enough for me to level up? Nope, but this last part of the fight should be enough for me to level up. Demi Devi grew to level 21. Demi. Debbie's trying to learn Poison Fang, but can't learn more than four moves. Deal a move to make room for Poison Fang. Poison Fang. Power 50, accuracy 100. Bite the target with Toxic Fang. May also leave the target badly poisoned. Versus... Target's attack with a discharge of filthy gases may also poison the target. I'm going to delete Smog, because Smog is a single target. Or should I delete Tackle? For Poison Fang. Because Poison Fang is physical, power 50, accuracy 100, same power and everything else as Tackle, but it has the additional chance of doing Poison. Yeah, I'm going to delete Tackle. What's this? Demi Devi is evolving! This is just going to be the episode where everybody involves. Congratulations, your Demi Devi evolved in Tofurang. This is literally just going to be the episode where all my Pokemon evolve in episode 4. Alright, switch Lex into the lead position, because Lex is going to be the next to evolve. And I'm going to save. I wonder if Magnet Rise will work on both of us. Lex levitated with electromagnetism. Uh, I guess not.
Lex, use spark. Lex, use spark again. So like two more fights should be enough for Lex to evolve. By the looks of it. Lex, use spark on Fortog. So we know it's poison and water now. Yeah, just one shot at Fortog. Well, if Com Comite's not very effective versus Ember, it should be a super weak to Aqua Jet, logically. Yep, super effective. Now we've got mul now we've got multiple poisons and burns, so we have to deal with all those every turn. Eesh. Aqua Jet, take out Tonami. Let's use Spark on Tonami. See if that does a little bit more damage. Yeah, a little bit more damage by one-shotting it. And this rock monster, let's hit it with water. Lex grew to 27. What's this? Lex is evolving. Congratulations, your Lex evolved into Electru Electruxo. Told you folks, this episode is going to be the episode when all of my Pokemon evolve. And now we've got Mankey back in the main position. So we can get his levels up, because he's the only one who hasn't evolved at this point. Though so granted, he needs to get like four levels, so you know. Just keep spamming Seismic Doss. No, 
not low kick. Seismic toss. Just spamming that seismic toss. Found a dusk stone, good. Well, that's advancing the quest, so I'm not going to go there. Before I fully explored the cave. Theo said there's something up ahead, you should go and investigate it. That's why I turned around to make sure I didn't miss anything in the cave. Seismic toss on... I guess Comite's fine. Spanky is leveled up to 23. <laughs> Theo, that tremor was nothing. Theo, that tremor was nothing. We made, we finally made it to the end. Um, Xander, maybe you want to run as well when Theo runs. And. 
And now I'm back into singles battle. You can't really get blame Xanda for th you can't really blame Theo for that Xanda. He was running away from Falling Rock and you decided to stand perfectly still. Not really on Theo. Really your fault for not moving in some direction. And then we have Tellerard. Level 22, which is clearly the evolution of Bob. Well, you know what, Tellerard? Oh, magnitude 7, you say. I counter your magnitude 7 with seismic toss. And not only do I counter your magnitude 7 with seismic toss, I switch over to Lex. who now can use Magnet Rise to be immune to ground moves. Doesn't affect Lex. You use Magnitude 8, doesn't affect Lex. Let's hit you with a Spark. Well, Spark doesn't affect Tellerard. It's immune to Electric. Interesting. All right, fine. Aqua Jet. Another Aqua Jet. Now it's incredibly weak. And it's been paralyzed by my static effect. Well, you know what this calls for, folks. Pokeball. Go. Three. Caught it. Cave Boss is now caught. Double Worm Pokemon, Ground and Dragon. Tellers who have completely independent brains and are prone to argument they, that they ever managed to coordinate at all is a miracle. Will you give a nickname to Tell Tellerard? Of course I will give a nickname to Kel Tellerard. How am I going to do this one? Like a boss. Like a boss was transferred to Twitch's PC. It was stored in box one. Spanky gained 249 XP. Lex gained 249 XP. Did that clear the rocks from behind me as well? It did. Since the rocks behind me have been cleared, I'm going to go turn around and see if I can find Theo. Switch Lex into my lead. Where did you go, Theo? Theo has completely left the area. Ah, well. It always feels good when you can capture a boss Pokemon. Especially if you can do it in a standard Pokeball. Hmm, you there. What happened to all the Pokemon that were going berserk? They calmed down. What? You fought a Tellerard? Those are really dangerous. Hmm, that may have been the problem. 
Well, tell the two heads fight with each other. Riles up all the other Pokemon in the air. Thanks for bringing peace to the cave again. Now we trainers can get through without fear. And that guy's not there. Ah. I found TM21. Frustration. That's the one that's powered up if your Pokemon are, don't like you, right? I think so. Comet Cave, new area. Found a revive. New town? Rof Rockefeller Town. If you ask me, this is the prettiest route in Tandor. Camper Alphonse would like to battle. It sent out Mareep. Aqua Jet. Even though I don't really need to. Should probably go to the Pokemon Center and heal. People don't take campers seriously as battlers, but we love to enjoy natural environments. We should take time to appreciate Tandor's beauty. I can even feel feel good about losing. Enter the town. Apparently Rochelle Town has the power of rain. Did you know Tando was formed by two volcanoes? Both are dormant now, but the regional championship takes place over one of them. That doesn't sound like a very good idea. Yes, let's have a Pokemon battle with Pokemon that literally alter the, the elements around them over a dormant volcano. I have lived in Rochefail Town since I was a little girl. The mountains are rough to live in, true, but I'm hale and hearty as any young lass. Hoo hoo hoo. There's my Pokemon Center. What do we got here? Blam, kapow, I want to be a superhero when I grow up. A true hero always saves a chest in the nick of time. Our Luna pup faithfully guards our house every night. On full moon, so it won't stop howling. My son is obsessed with your comics and movies. Always good to have a hero to admire. Amazing how the economy functions when half the population of given trainers, trainers who don't work. How would we ever feed ourselves if we didn't have Pokemon to help? That's a good question. That is a very good question. Xanda, how special. Good to see you again, mate. But unfortunately, now is not the best time. There's been an emergency at Cypress Labs. We were incredibly flustered, so I went and tried to do something. Although, actually, running at you now might have been a lucky break we need. I can't explain here. How about you come back to me with the lab? I'll introduce you to Professor Cypress, and she'll give you the lowdown on what's happened. Follow me. I just got to town, you... Why'd you... And you just... You... Asshole! Ernest, you're back. Did you find the thief? Is it this kid? Listen, kid, you picked the wrong lab to break into last night. Wait, Lily, hold on. This isn't a thief. This is Alexander, my research assistant. Unpaid research assistant. They happen to be passing through town. They're Pokemon trainer. Hmm, Pokemon trainer. Are they trustworthy? Of course they are. They're my assistant, aren't they? Besides, their father is Kylan, the ranger chief. Aha, so you're Kylan's kid. I suppose I can trust you. I'm Lily Cypress, a Pokemon professor at this lab. You probably figured that out by what's going on by now. Last night, while we were out, someone broke into the lab. They stole many of the Pokemon we were keeping here for research. 
What is strange? They completely ignored the more valuable, most valuable thing in here. There, on our table, the prototype Pokemon speech translator. It's a cutting-edge technology we've been developing. There are some who would get, do, go to great lengths to get their hands on it. That's what got us baffled. Why would someone break into the lab if they weren't going to steal the Pacific Standard Time? Well, maybe they live in Eastern. You're back. What did you find? Managed to recover one of the stolen Pokemon. This fellow was hanging out on Route 6. The second one, I have an out. Let's use the Pacific Standard Time on Outen to find out more about the thief. Why not Eastern? Seriously, why not Eastern? Scary. So scary. What's in my Pokeball asleep suddenly? And moving. But not I am in friend. Taking me and others out towards Mountain Cave. Dropped my Pokeball. Got free. Towards the Mountain Cave. I must be on Route 6. Maybe the thief is still there. The rest of the stolen Pokemon. This is a good lead. Somebody give that Pokemon a treat for its hard work. Now the question is, how do we catch the thief? They've got the stolen Pokemon on them, so they could be dangerous. Xander can help. They're a Pokemon trainer. They even have two badges already. That's so. In that case, Xander he might be exactly who we need. According to Outen, the thief is still on Route 6 to the west. If you look into it, we'll be in your debt. In order to help you with your investigation? Oh, I know. Why don't you say borrow the... Why don't you borrow the Eastern Standard Time? That way you can talk to any other Pokemon you find to help locate the thief. Obtained Eastern Standard Time. Xander put the Eastern Standard Time in the key items pocket. Please be quick, we're all counting on you. I know you probably believe dragging this so suddenly. Well, no, I didn't, really. You're just lucky I managed to get to a Pokemon Center first. But Liz Cypress is my good friend and research partner. You can just stand by and do nothing. The fact that you showed up when you did, it just feels like fate. Or bad programming. According to Alton, the thief is hiding in the mountain cave on Route 6. Please, find the equipment. Our continuing research depends on it. I could just ignore you. At home, but missing friends. Where are friends? Scary. Alton is okay. Alton is still nervous after the whole deal. I'm comforting it. Don't panic. Don't panic. Everything's going to be fine. Right! Right! I'm a fossil, fossil revivification effort. However, now is not the time. We're not in a state of emergency! Well, I'm still at least in Rockefeller Town. I mean, that's something. Liz here, Rockefeller. I hear she does all sorts of projects trying to improve communication between humans and Pokemon. That's impressive. Alright, let me get a context of where... Okay, that's where I was before. And let's see. This is the shop, if I'm not mistaken. Pokeballs, potions, and it's... What more could a trainer need? How about luxury balls? Aren't you and our Pokemon good too? Dislike for don't get me started on this dislike for Sinnoh Pokemon. It's borderline racist. I tell you. All right, tell me. Let me see what you've got. Pokeballs, Great Balls, Super Potions, Potions, Antidotes, Paralyzed Heals, Ice Heals, Repels. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch of regular Pokeballs. Thirty-two should do. I'll throw in a Premier Ball, too, because I've bought so many. And 50 points for the super heal? Yeah, probably should go with the super heal. Actually, wait a second. 
What is a premier ball? It has been officially made to commemorate an event of some sort. Item. Nugget of pure gold. There's no per there's no use for nuggets, right? Probably not. I will sell both of my nuggets. When I was young, I lived in the big city. Now I just like living here in the quiet countryside. Well, maybe I will get a chance to talk to everybody. You think they'll ever make a game set in Tandor? Nah, I'd never. I don't think a Pokemon game set in Tandor would ever make sense. I'm training my Pokemon on my game. I'm going to beat my sister at it someday. Thank my brother. Don't interrupt. The kids and their video games. When I was a kid, we played outside in the dirt, and we liked it. The kids and their video games. Their video games. Their video games. I for one think all of this Pokemon Red nonsense is corrupting my children. Pokemon and them video games. My cousin over there is crazy about Pokemon, but he never leaves the house. We should get a job. I'm worried about my sister. She's a little too friendly with strangers. Hey there, stranger. How about... How about you? That cute bag you've got there. Are you training? Do you have any Pokeballs filled with Pokemon? Yeah, she's a little too flirty. She's basically a Rin. Hello, I'm a Pokemon enthusiast. I see you are a trainer. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for Pokemon in particular. I just can't remember what it's called. If you can help me, I'll give you a reward. Sort of fat yellow snake? Uh, what was it? Uh, I don't have it. I don't think that's what I was looking for. Fat yellow snake. Dunsverse, I think. There's a mountain around here said to be in Path of Love, or I am determined to scale them. Alright, so what are our options here? Route 6, do not to bring the potions. It's very long. I believe he wants to see Dunsperse. The Tanda Ranger workers are working tires affect the environment and citizens of this region. <gasps> Your father's a ranger. Well then, please, thank him on my behalf. You're a trainer, aren't you? Remind me of a son. He's a trainer, too. You should always remember where you came from, no matter how far away from home you get. So, I should go and visit that house there with the Dunsperse in my party. But before we do that, let's see what else there is in this area. Hey, are you Pokemon Sweet? Listen, would you be interested in a train? I'm looking for a Tulfarang if you have one. I'll trade you my Pyja for it. Nah... I've actually got both of those Pokemon. Tofarang and Paija. So I kind of don't need yours. All right. Yeah, I think it's Durgan that this guy wants to see. I really want to put like a boss into my party. Considering he's literally a boss monster. But I can't figure out who I should replace. 
Brown Dragon. Well, I know I need Durgan in any case. I'm going to put Durgan in Mankey's place. Steel Rock. I've got Bug Fire, Fire and Flying. Should I replace one of those for, like, a boss? Cause like a boss is Ground and Dragon. Ah, well. Because at the very least, I can show Durgan to this person. Were you thinking of Durgan? Oh yes, thumbs first, that's it. Wow, it's so cute, I'm happy. This is the best day of my life. How can I ever pay you? This will have to do. Moonstone. Just in time, Joe. I was looking for this other Pokemon. It was a weak water type that gets really strong when it evolves. Mm. A weak water type that gets really strong when it evolves? Mm. Oof. I can look in my list of Pokemon, see if I have anything that might work. Otherwise, I just probably want the Magikarp. And I know I do not have a Magikarp. <laughs> that would probably be the one they're talking about. Let's see. There's Mario, my Fort Tog. Yeah, because I don't have any other water types. Because I'm doing terribly with fishing. Alright. Mm -hmm. Put Mankey back into my party. In place of Durgan. Mm -hmm. I really want to put Like a Boss into my party, but I'm just not sure what would be a good... Re what he should replace. Like a Boss is literally the boss of a cave that I just beat the, the ass of and then captured into a normal Pokeball. Mm -hmm. He's a ground dragon. And what I got to work with. So basically the same typing as Zygarde. So my party currently I've got, with the exception of Mankey, all evolu all full all uh, evol are all evol evolved. So Lex is evolved. Uh, Water Electric. Probably don't want to drop Lex because she's my partner. We've got Demi Devi who's just poison. We've got Soldier who's fire and flying. We've got Antony, which is Bug and Fire. And we've got Alaron, which is Steel and Rock. Like, I feel like I should replace either Soldier or Antony because I've got two flying types now. And no ground and no dragon. The only problem is if I replace Soldier, I won't have anyone with flying. Though... Lex can do levitate. So Lex can make herself immu Im immune to ground attacks. <clears throat> Which seems like that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's switch out Soldier with... Hey! Hello. Like a boss. No more box operations. I'm getting closer to getting all of the things for my uh, coding list for my Pokemon Silver game. Where is it? Options. Where's save? Save? Let me get a 
least a stone, a sunstone. All right, like a box is in my inventory. Now here's the question is where do I want to go next? Because Route 6 continues the story mission. This is whatever this route is. Which would mean fighting a bunch of Pokemon trainers. So should I just go to Pokemon trainers and open up the path to uh, whatever the previous town is? Because presumably that's what the route's going to do is take me back to the previous town. Or should I continue the story mission? Backtrack or story? Hmm. Probably story. Alright, let's do story then. And I'm gonna switch Spanky and Lex. Because Spanky's the only one who still needs to le who needs to evolve, because literally everyone evolved in this episode. Oh, you have to read enabled enable promotion of my church. Hmm? You had to re-enable permission in my church? Yes, I had to re-enable. I'm out in the field catching Pokemon for the professor, but that's boring. Want to fight? See. See, Digi thinks, oh, just let them be able to send messages. No. If they're going to put pictures from their computer or phone, or send a link, they need to either they need to be able to embed links and uh, uh, post pictures. Yep. Which I added that to the permission for NSFW. That's why Digital Brave was having a hard time. The... And I think there's also one for like the rich embeds that you have to enable. Because rich embeds, I think, is also something you have to enable. I'm not sure though. Mm. The rich embeds is what Neo uses to make all of his fancy t his cards. And I know you can do it manually. Well, back to town, I guess, I suppose. Xander got 540 for defeating a trainer. <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't be tired. My Pokemon are the ones fighting. Of course you shouldn't be tired. Your Pokemon are the one doing the fighting. Doesn't even make sense that I get, you know, freaking knocked out when all my Pokemon get knocked out. Can it go here? Human bad. They seem unwilling to budge. No humans allowed. I have an Outen trying to kick my ass. Yeah, I don't think this Outen's going to have much of a chance, considering it's level 15 and I'm level 23. So I can find it. Seismic Toss. Ooh, didn't one-shot it, though. Trying to get all the items I need that are easy to get first in the for the coding. Why do I say easy? The things that cost money because uh, <laughs> uh, I uh, I faced the elite four with an amulet coin. My corral gator tore them apart. Manky, yeah. use seismic toss. There, there. But I can still get that here. Yay! There we go. Post the picture. Good one, too. Good shading. Try karate chop. Oh, 
body style. And it's just one shot of the outen. And I'm going to go heal up before taking on another boss. Two bosses in one Pokemon session. And if I can, I'm friggin' capturing it. I have a vague recollection of what the boss is. I don't know if it's an actual Pokemon that I can technically capture. But you know I'm gonna try. How dare you try and take me away? Take this! Spanky, use Karate Chop to one-shot the Outan. Oh, I didn't one-shot it. Alright, fine, use Low Kick. Into a cave we go. Garlic kid, gar, garlic. Xander, use the PST. What are you doing here, human? Are you trying to enslave these Pokemon again? They have been freed from your clutches. They won't be your prisoners anymore. Uh, we fixed the problem with the roll. We fixed the problem with the roll you made. Garlic kid is here. The Pokemon here. I found them in that horrible human place, and I liberated them. We'll fight for our freedom. Hero Garlic kid would like to battle. Hero Garlic kid sent out Lunapup. Go Spanky the Mankey. We uh we fixed the the NSFW roll. It wasn't posting because you forgot embed links and uh, post pictures or whatever. But yeah. always willing to help. Actually, can I use Pokeballs here? This isn't. Is this technically count as a trainer battle? The trainer blocked a ball. Does so this, this technically count as a trainer battle? Okay. By 51 flower mail. It's a Pokemon who's got Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. And is trying to protect Pokemon from being captured. Weird game logic, but whatever. Well, it's a fan game. They can do whatever they want. Again, fan game. They could have... Well, they only did this in a movie for uh, the Focus Star Studios, but... A Pokemon that battles with people. That's true. They did do that in one of the movies. Hero Garlic is about to send Minia. Would you like to show us Pokemon? I'm not, talking about, I'm not talking about the actual movies from Pokemon. I'm talking about in Gen 5, there was a Pokestar Studios uh, film where you were you traveled to the future. So basically, it was the... Like a boss, uh, use yeah. magnitude. Okay, you travel to the future, and all these bug Pokemon have evolved to use humans as their Pokemon. Hmm. No, I'm not going to switch. I'm going to let Like a Boss take on this boss's Pokemon. Like a Boss, use Magnitude. But did it do it like a boss? Yes, he always does it like a boss. Mm -hmm. Like a Boss, keep using Magnitude. Prepare to be destroyed. Gar. Lee. We, we lost, but how? Why do these Pokemon fight on behalf of a human? Don't they want their freedom? They're your friends? Eh, they're only my friends because I'm... 
controlling them through the power of Pokeballs. I think that may have been a shitty place to end the episode. That's impossible. Pokemon humans cannot coexist. In uh, X eight RP, I think. Comrade, right, you're going back to place. Why? A little more. Gar, you'll pay for this, human. So as long as there are it Pokemon that are being held against their will. We built Aye. graphite. We built suspense to Gemdeus. Hi, Garlic King, the Pokemon well, hero, will we be there to save them. Well, 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 we didn't resolve the Kenneth kind of fight. Yeah. And I found TM41 Torment. Yeah, we didn't resolve the Kaiden fight. No, but we have it set up for the next episode. Yeah, uh, even then. This is a weird place to end it, just getting an energy item. It's an energy item that makes you similar to what you were before with Matrix Cop Out. Yeah, the, the Matrix breakout thing is actually the big reveal. Oh, and yeah, don't forget, um, Ma Yamato still wants to make a sequel. Xander, you did it. We managed to recover all the missing Pokemon. Thanks to you. We followed Whether behind you in case you needed backup. E, but you did great. You saw everything that happened. Did any of you see I a tiny green man in a costume run by just now? That wasn't a man. That was a Pokemon. That was a Pokemon. Yeah, you think? Our thief was actually a Pokemon called Garlic Kid. They're incredibly rare. I haven't heard of one being sighted in many years. Its habitat it is a remote um, spot in the mountains. It doesn't encounter humans often. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that one had never encountered people before. Garlic Kid had a strong sense of justice. He must have seen the Pokemon in the lab and thought they were being kept as prisoners. I suppose they attacked because they were just excited. Perhaps Garlic Kid has a point, though. From now on, we'll make our, sure our Pokemon have more freedom, and we'll listen to them more closely, thanks to the Eastern Standard oh. Time. Speaking do, of do it... You think Matrix, do you think Matrix Breakout sequel should be level E? Speaking of, as a field test for the Pokemon Speech Translator, I'd say this was a sounding success. I can see it becoming a very useful tool in the hands of a Pokemon trainer. So thanks for all nah. that you've done for us. Wait, why so don't you Pokemon keep... are going to speak in English now. Why don't you keep that prototype? Why don't you keep that prototype? Eastern Standard Time. This is bound to give us some great field data. Let's be careful with it, all right? We wouldn't want to fall into the wrong hands. If you need anything, uh, we'll be back at the lab. Until then, next time. Xander's the worst person you want to give it to. Because Xander captures everything, including bosses, and then it beats up guard Pokemon. If this were a test, I'd say you pass with flying colors. You have great intuition and resourcefulness. I'd say you're well on your way to becoming a fully fledged trainer, mate. Oh yeah, before I forget, I have this item here that will help you on your journey. Obtained EXP share. Not even here right now. Allow one of your Pokemon to hold that EXP here and they're going to chance anyone doesn't participate in battles. Keep catching Not Pokemon and growing so your right next now. gym badge is in Bellsby City, right? That's a long trek, so you better stock up before your journey. Happy travels, I'm rooting for you. Now, I gotta get back to Mocha Town. Let's fly, Paja! I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and battle all day. Hiker Norman would like to battle. I'm going to end this episode when we get back to town, basically. Ah, uh, seismic toss. Because I think we've done quite a bit for this one episode. This is only episode four, and we've literally evolved every Pokemon except for Mankey. We captured, in a, po a standard Pokeball, a boss monster. And we've gone through two story plot points. Mm. That's pretty impressive. And we got EXP share. Yeah, that's better.
I refuse to perpetuate the that lumberjacks engage in cross-dressing. Just not true. Kilts don't count. And back to Rockefeller Town. Hmm. Give me a few seconds to equip the ESP, EXP chair, and I think we're going to call it here. So I want to switch Spanky with probably like a boss. Or Lex. Who should I switch him with? I suppose probably... Aleron, because Aleron is the lowest level. So switch it with Aleron as my lead-in. And then Spanky, I will have him carry the EXP share item. So Spanky is holding the EXP share. Aleron will lead the battles. Because Aleron is at level 15, while everyone else is... Well, most of everyone else is over 20. Anthony is also... Under 20 because Anthony evolves at 16 when you give him incinerate. You'll want to read, to read your experience share because every Pokemon game is slightly different. It's either it shares XP with others or it gets XP from everybody else. Yeah. Well, I'm mainly giving it to, to Mankey because I know in, I think it's two levels, Mankey's going to evolve into Primate. Yeah. So that way I can keep him off the front line, still get him XP. Then once Mankey evolves into Primate, I'll take the EXP, put it on either Aleron or Antony, whichever one's the lowest level, and switch Lex in to be my uh, main header. Mm -hmm. So that way I can get everybody up to at least 20. And after that, I'm not sure. I was well, right. It would be called the X call if it was some um, gives to everybody else. That's right. Uh, I don't remember now. Yeah. It was a different item in Gen 1. Mm. Right now I'm just playing my silver bird. Yeah, it's EXP share, not EXP all. Mm. So, I think we did pretty good for only episode four of yeah. Pokemon Uranium. Two story progressions, captured a boss monster, evolved everybody, with the exception of Mankey, captured a boss, made it to a new town. Got a bunch of new Pokeballs. Pretty impressive. Got the EXP share. So I'll see you guys all in the future. Mm.